So you just got your new Sony a7 III, A9 or A7R III and are wondering about a camera cage. More specifically, a cage that doesn't hinder the grip on that camera system or the camera system that you have. Well, Small Rig may have the perfect solution for you. This SKU is the 2098 and it's a half cage, so it leaves the, the grip completely exposed and open to you. With that being said, I reached out to Small Rig and asked them if they'd be kind enough to send me this cage for a review. And I've been using it for a little bit and I think I've found my favorite go-to cage for the Sony a7 III. Uh, turning it on the left side or you know camera left you can see that there's this NATO rail system with a bunch of quarter 20s and two or three three eighths screws additionally you got some quarter 20s here and you also have the the mount system for the cable retention attachment that small rig offers around the top you got this uh, re um, amount and a bunch of quarter 20s more quarter 20s and i added this the miniature nato rail mount to this so i can uh, demonstrate a couple of options for you as far as top handles as far as the base plate you literally unlock it it's really tight here and then you push this little thing down and you can release the base plate the system comes packaged with so as we remove this uh, base plate that comes packaged with it I wanted to kind of demonstrate something that's really uh, useful if you're invested in uh, Manfrotto 501 plates. This plate fits like a dream in here. You literally slide it in and you can lock it down and it's not going anywhere. This one has a lens support system that is provided on the base plate that is uh, given to you by Small Rig that is packaged with this 2098 cage. And it also has a quarter 20 and a 3 8 bottom uh, thread on here. So you could uh, literally just keep this attached to your camera system and mount plates as needed. Or if you're like me and leave your camera system mounted to these types of plates because you have a bunch of other things, this is a really awesome option. Uh, if you want to use the 501 plate, make sure you slide it all the way in to where it locks and then stays locked and then you can lock it down with the latch right here that's really easily accessible. One thing that I did find with this cage is that this, this sometimes becomes loose. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you have this secure in the, the system of the cage itself. Taking a look towards the bottom of this, this cage as I remove this 501 plate, you have a bunch of different threads available to you. So 3 8 all the way around here and a bunch of quarter 20s, which is awesome. I, I really enjoy this camera cage. So without, with all that uh, being said about this camera cage, let's go ahead and get it installed on the a7 III using the included base plate. Six and a half hours later. As you can see with this base plate on the Sony a7 III, it fits perfectly. It's snug, has uh, supported, or well, offers a lens support system where you can mount, um, I think these are M4 threads. So you can see that this is like built for this camera body. So if you have a Sony a7 III, a7R III or a9, this is gonna fit like a dream. Fits like a glove, it's awesome. We can showcase how awesome this cage actually is and how it doesn't uh, hinder any of the grip here. So it's all on this side of the camera body and you have full access to this. One thing that you may have noticed if you've used camera cages in the past is that this, the, this part that comes around this side usually hinders this action. So you have full accessibility to the record button, all of your dial knobs, uh, exposure, compensation, uh, all of the buttons are accessible, battery is fully accessible, and your SD cards are fully accessible. Uh, on the other side, you may be wondering about the cable management. The one thing that I don't like about the Sony a7 III is these little flimsy doors that they offer. And you can tuck these things away behind the cage and you don't have to worry about them. That's one really awesome thing, minus this one. I mean, that one's just always floating out there. If you use Small Rig's uh, cable management system or cable retention system and clamp down your things, uh, you won't have any issue with the, the doors. One thing that a lot of people wonder is if the, the screen is hindered by any means, and you can see that it's not, even if you flip it down. One thing that I wanted to talk about is this NATO rail. Doesn't come included with the cage, so you're gonna have to purchase this separately. I just happen to have one with this um, top handle. You can literally just slide this on, tighten it down. It has a retention system within the, the actual NATO mount 
so it doesn't fall off even if it's, if it's loose. But you tighten that down and you can see that you have a really awesome top handle. This top handle here provides a, a cold shoe mount here and on the back. On the front you have an RE mount so you can mount things to it and a bunch of quarter 20s at the top. The cool thing about this top handle is that it, uh, it has magnets that retain this Allen key and you can make adjustments to it on the fly without having to worry about retaining any type of tools with you. So essentially it is toolless because it maintains the tool within the body. And you just loosen these two Allen bolts here and you can make adjustments to the actual position of the top handle. So after loosening those, you can move this in any direction. So if you want it to be back, you know, focused towards the back, you can do that or towards the front. I prefer it in the middle where I can keep two fingers like that and then I can tighten it down. Eventually. Nice and snug. Put the Allen key back. The magnets retain it really nicely. Then I have a nice top handle. Cool thing, another cool thing about this is that they sent me this other top handle that I'll show you that adds additional side handle. And one thing to take note of this is that it is uh, NATO cap capable. So you get another NATO rail up here but if it loosens up at all, there is no retention for this way. There's no retention. So just keep that in mind because the metal is pushing down the retention uh, little knob here. There is no security over on that side. So it would be nice to see if uh, Small Rig added a little security no notch here on this, this top handle. So when you slide it in on here, it doesn't come off because when you're going this way, it stays just fine. Coming this way, it slides right off. So you need to make sure that you tighten this down if you're gonna go this route. Uh, the cool thing about this is that when you add this here, I can have this side handle and I can have access to the grip on the camera. I can take this knob or this top handle, put it in here and secure it here as well. That's a little crazy for me, but if you need a top handle and a side handle, that's perfect. Um, another thing to keep in mind is that you have this, this has security too, so you don't have to worry about it sliding off. Just push this little knob down and, and unsecure it. So if you have a, a compatible side handle on this side, you can use this NATO rail. And just imagine this turned the other way so you could have a handle on both sides. And you can literally turn this half cage into a full cage within a few uh, quick adaptions. So you're not losing uh, anything with the, the hot shoe at the top or any of the knobs. Nothing is hindered when you're, you're kind of shooting with the camera system. All of your ports are fully accessible. You can get to the battery, all that type of stuff. And I've been using this the uh, small rig products for quite a while and I can stand by their quality because it's awesome. I recommend this cage too if you're in the market for something that doesn't hinder the right handle and gives you the capability to turn it into a full cage rather quickly and rather affordably. If you're interested in pricing and availability of any of these products that I showed you in this video, uh, feel free to hit the links in the description. Uh, and if you have any questions, leave me a comment. And before I close, I must disclose, Small Rig was kind enough to send this system out to me for testing and review. And without them, this video would not have been possible. Well, that about does it for me in this one. If you like this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I am Tomas and I will catch you in the next one.